So kind of one other thing I'd like to kind of discuss is discussing uh, kind of a newer kid on the block uh, in terms of something that can also be a frustrating presentation and that is sciatica. So kind of one thing that has growing literature in terms of case reports and then I believe Highland and I believe uh, Harvard are doing a combined study looking at the patient outcomes of performing these blocks in sciatica. And I think the results will be pretty promising. So, you know, it's kind of really kind of trying to manage someone's pain. And I think this is kind of the person that, you know, you're debating that has sciatica, you're debating admitting for pain control, or they just are having so much pain with ambulating that this is kind of a good option. And, here, you know, here's an example off Twitter. But, you know, what your target here is you're really trying to, you're trying to go, you know, transgluteal. Some people argue you should really go subgluteal. But I think you're trying to go as largely as proximal as you can, as you see fit, just try to give as much coverage as you can. And, you know, your position is going to have the patient flex at their knee, flex at the hip. And then you're going to be putting it, you know, through gluteus. And you're going to see kind of greater trunk and femur. You're going to see ischial tuberosity. And you kind of see deep to that gluteus maximus, you're going to see that fascia layer where the sciatic nerve runs. And this is your target is to hit that fascia layer next to that sciatic nerve. So you can see flex at knee, flex at hip. You usually want to use a curling probe for this to get make sure you have adequate depth. You're also probably going to want a 10 centimeter needle for this to make sure that you have adequate needle length. Um, and you're going to kind of see here some different examples. And you, you know you can so you can mark out ischial tuberosity and greater trope, and then kind of know that your targets in between there. So you can see needle coming in here. So here's an example of one that we did. So this is kind of our survey scan. You can see vessel there that we're going to avoid. And you can see kind of here, not, this tends to be pretty deep. So it tends to be not the prettiest blocks if you don't have the right equipment. So this is kind of at our free with their less ideal machine. And you can kind of see some fluid kind of coming around that sac nerve. Um, again, kind of coming all the way down there, kind of rough visualization. But I mean, I think it's a good example of real life and sometimes how it looks, frankly. And, you know, kind of coming here, you got nerve there, we're trying to aim for that fascia plane right there. And, you know, we got some fluid around there and there's actually patient came in, you know, barely able to walk and kind of left walking and standing and kind of for, you know, it's kind of incredible, but there's really, you know, I've never heard of anything, anyone that has been doing this has had significant kind of like motor blockade from this somehow. 